Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like a fragrance after the rain. Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms will all pass away, but there's something about that Hi there. Thank you for tuning in to Bell Road Baptist Church Online. I just want to take a moment with you today to get our minds focused somewhere other than it probably has been lately. I know all of us are hearing all around us everything swirling chaos about this COVID-19 virus and all the dangers and how it's affecting the economy and the things that we should do to try to make it better, prevent the spread of it. Uh, the help those who are in need, all of that. And I know a lot of people are feeling a lot of stress right now in various ways as a result of this. And we all feel stress and have chaos in our lives every day, even before all of this started. So it's very important to stop in the middle of it all, especially when you're really feeling that tightness in your chest, that, that panicky feeling, that nervousness, the butterflies in your stomach. And the sometimes people who have anxiety disorders, it comes out as irrational behavior, anger, you know, all of those negative things that are not of God. God has not given us a spirit of fear. And the way that we can combat that is to take time and focus upward. We know that God is the creator of all things, and he is goodness personified, and he loves us. He deemed each of us worthy of giving the ultimate sacrifice to make a way for us to spend eternity with him. And in no way does he want us to spend our time here on this earth being all keyed up and anxious and, and terrified for whatever reason. And the best way to make all of those things fall into their proper perspective is to look upward and to just lift your voice, your eyes, your heart, all of your spirit upward and focus squarely on him and uh, just sing songs of praise. And you can do that, believe it or not, silently. You can do it wherever you are. There is not a time or place when you cannot praise the Lord, because maybe this is just my weirdness, but if I'm in a situation where I don't feel like I can make a sound, I can hear the melodies and hear the music in my head and sing along in my head, and that still helps me to focus. But, you know, you may be in line at the grocery store. Just hum a melody, you know, just or in your car. Lift your voice, sing. It doesn't matter how crazy or horrible you think you sound because the Lord commands us to make a joyful noise to him. But there is a method behind that madness because when we focus on him, everything else here becomes dim as it should be because we are here to serve him and to focus on him and he will make a way. We just have to look up. And no offense to the wonderful Cheryl Crow. I love Cheryl Crow. But, you know, there are a lot of fallacies that are out there in the world. And in one of her songs that I think is a really cool song. But, you know, it says, every time I feel lame, I'm looking up. Well, that's not how the Lord intended it. You know, he doesn't intend us for us to look at other people's beauty or power or talent or money, and when we start comparing ourselves with the people around us, a lot of times we do feel lame, right? When we're looking up, when we're focused on him, he shows us our true worth, and that isn't how he sees us, what he created us for, and that he made each of us uniquely, and we are wonderfully made. So I just encourage you today to whatever song is in your heart, song of praise, if you need help thinking of a song, contact me. I will help you. We will come up with some song today 
that really expresses your heart's cry to the Lord. And just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be special. This is your time with him. And this is your time just saying, Daddy, can you help me refocus here? All right. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. Jesus loves you. And remember, kings and kingdoms will all pass away. But there's something about that.